Hi, I'm Amanda from the Undercover Lifestyle, and I hope everyone had a great new year and wonderful holidays. I know I did, and um, I've got a lot to show you, especially for my new things, so I'm going to jump right in. Um, the first two things that I finished were actually the last two things I finished for 2019, and I've got a couple of pictures to show you. Uh, the first one was the... Um, a cocoon shrug. Um, I did it in corner to corner with a six millimeter. That would be a little bit quicker to hit my Christmas deadline. And I knew my youngest niece would appreciate having something different from her mom and sister. She's an artist and she's a little bit, you know, they're, they're, they're on their own um, path. So I made hers a little bit different and I'm sure she appreciates that. And, um, I used the Red Heart Super Saver Ombre in Scuba. I just really love how the um, striped yarns look in the diagonal corner to corner like that. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. She put it on as soon as she opened it, Christmas Eve, and yeah, everybody loved their shrugs, so I'm really happy. And the last thing I made for 2019 was a men's beanie. Um, it was a YouTube tutorial by Mode Bespoke. And I used the Premier Anti-Pilling in Lava. That's the last of my Lava colorway for that, unfortunately. And um, I knew I didn't have enough. It was just one little scrap ball. So I got some Lion Brand um, Basic Stitch Anti-Pilling, which is very similar to the Premier in weight and feel, if not maybe a little bit softer. So I used the charcoal heather for that, and I'll pop the picture in here. Um, it's on a child size mannequin, so it looks really big, <laughs> but as far as I know, it fits, and it's for my soon-to-be nephew. So it actually matches the rosy wrap that I made my niece. Um, if you're on my Instagram, you saw a picture of her engagement photos. She was wearing the wrap, so I figured my last little bit of lava, I'd make him a beanie too much. So they're super excited about that. And my niece loves it. She says they love it. It matches perfect. So um, on to the next thing. I finished, the first thing I finished for 2020 is a black shrug that I'm wearing. It is the Isaac Mizrahi Craft Yarn and um, it's called Carnegie Hill as I guess the type of yarn and the colorway is Spanish Harlem. You can see that is so small. But yeah, it's the basically the black with the little purple and or lavender and maybe periwinkle little curly Q string. And I'll pop a little video up so you can see it full size on me. And I really love it. It's super warm. Um, I tried to make a regular granny square cocoon with this. And it's just so thick. It, um, it made a really stiff fabric. And I really wasn't happy with that. So um, I actually did a V-stitch. You can see that. I knew it had to be a really big hook. And super lacy. So that's what I did. V-stitch with a six. No, I used the 11 and a half um, size P hook. So I really like it. Um, it is actually only a rectangle. Um, this sucker grew quite a bit. I started out, I think it was, uh, I aimed for about 40 by 40. And I don't know what happened. It just grew. This is way bigger than 40 inches. But I knew um, if I made it square, it would just be humongous. And like all the rest of the cocoons I tried to make myself, they just end up growing for some reason. It's really weird. I guess the weight and all that stuff. But anyways, uh, this is probably half the size of a square. It's, um, like I said, more of a rectangle. But it actually works out. As you see in the clip, it comes down nicely right on my waist. And, you know, just for cozying up at home it's really quite nice 
I'm quite pleased with it. Like I said, I've been wanting to make this forever. And that's, I think, about six balls of the yarn that I used. Yeah. Six balls. I call it a five bulky, but I think it might even be a little bit bulkier than that. So I used six balls. It was 99 yards, so about 600 yards. And like I said, I think that's a good size. I'm happy with it. And it's very, very, very toasty and squishy. I was surprised with how um, kind of rough it is with the little curly Q string. But it is really, really squishy. I'm quite happy with it. Glad I finally got this done. Okay. Um, and the next few things that I've got finished for this 2020 um, are actually some more Christmas gifts. Um, my husband's side of the family decided to wait and do our Christmas when my niece could be here. Um, her husband is stationed in Texas right now, and I think he's actually on deployment in Japan right now. So she was able to come in, wasn't able to get here till I think Wednesday the 8th or the 9th. So we're doing my husband's side of the family Christmas on Saturday, January 11th. So luckily, that gave me a little bit of a break from all my Christmas madness makes. And then I was able to make a few more things for his side of the family. And um, the first one, for one of my nephews, he really loves penguins. So I made the penguin cuddler. Um, this is 3AM Grace Designs. It is a free pattern on her blog. And yeah, he turned out really cute. Um, it's just scraps. I think the white is Red Heart Soft. And the black is actually Kieran Simply Soft. So yeah, he turned out really cute. I think they'll be quite pleased with him. And the next thing I made um, is one of the owl pillows. Uh, I made one, I don't think it was last Christmas. Christmas before last for my sister-in-law. Uh, pink and gray one, that's our favorite colors, pink and gray. And um, she wanted one for her husband, <laughs> who is a Florida Gators fan. So here is a blue and orange one. And like I said, it's a really simple tutorial. It's here on YouTube, All Crafts Channel. It's just called Crochet Owl Pillow. And um, like I said, it's really simple and easy. Um, if you're wanting to start Amigurumis, this is a good first project to learn how to stuff and working around. Like I said, this was my first stuffed project. Um, the pink and gray one I made a couple of years ago. And like I said, I haven't looked back for Amigurumi. I love it. So there is a gator owl. And last but not least for my crochet, I finished a llama cuddler. This is another pattern by 3AM Grace Designs on her blog. It is a free pattern on the blog. And this one actually turned out a lot bigger. I think uh, on the blog it says it's a 15 by 9 inch. He is actually two feet tall from his ears to his hoofs. That's two feet. And he's about 15 inches wide. And the reason, um, I got a bright idea. I was gifted a big trash bag of a co-worker's mom's de-stash. And there was a lot of old yarns, like vintage yarns in it. And there was this Red Heart Baby Clouds. And let's see, the color is called Cloud, um, but it's that really fuzzy looking stuff, um, almost like blue clay. And like I said, I don't think they make this yarn anymore. So vintage stuff right here. Vintage or 
I don't know, discontinued. So yeah, um, it was a bit of a pain in the butt to work with, but I was able to kind of make it work um, using my five millimeter. That's the size it turned out. And um, so for the back, I had to double up some Red Heart Super Saver and make it the same size I needed a six millimeter hook. So yep, that's that. He was a real labor of love. He was quite a pain. So I'm very happy to have him done. And he's really cute though. I guess he was worth all the work. But yeah, he was a pain in the butt, especially trying to get the right sizing for that second back piece. Yeah, but I did it. Um, in the pattern, she's got the granny square blanket uh, coming down on a triangle. It didn't fit the size triangle for the length I had down here. It was too long, so I went ahead and put it on the straight way, I guess. But yeah, he's super cute. She's going to love him. I know she is. She's already sent me pictures of the one um, Mikey's been making the crochet along. Um, she wants that llama. So hopefully this will tide her over. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. And then I can say, if you're a good girl this year, you'll get that next year, Christmas. But anyways, um, yep. So that's it for all of my crochet projects that I finished. Um, I only have officially one whip right now. Um, my socks in the Vegas Lights colorway, I ended up frogging. Um, I had way too many mistakes. I actually ended up switching it over to just one sock on the nine inch circulars because two at a time on nine inches just was not working. So I figured I would try it um, one at a time and I messed it up somehow. I had like a yarn over on my cable. It was just completely foobar, so I just frogged them both. <laughs> Figured I would start over just some really super vanilla socks. Um, and they're not gonna be like a languishing project. I, when I do the socks, I need to finish them because I don't do well with keeping them just as a palette cleansing or I don't do well with that, so. If I'm going to make socks and need to commit to them, then do them and get them done. And, um, yeah, so the only other whip I have right now is one whip, and that's my Fire and Ice poncho made out of the thread, the AC Moore yarn. That's like, it's a wrap. So I think I'm going to um, buckle down and get that finished before I start on my Valentine mix. And then the other finished object I have, I only have one is some more bead weaving and this little squirrel. Isn't he cute? And the little tail. Yeah, so he turned out really cute. Um, if you saw him on Instagram, thank you. <laughs> it's really hard to keep the patterns secret, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that <laughs> from here on out on Instagram, but it went well, it went over well. I still got a lot of likes on it, so if you see blurry pictures like that, it's my bead weaving, that's a pattern I don't wanna give away. So there's that. And um, like I said, that's everything that I've made. And on to new stuff. Um, I've done quite a bit. And um, the first one actually I've had for a while, uh, if you know Chevis, Chevy Rell stuff. Um, she's been raising some money for some dental work. And as soon as I saw this on one of her Instagram posts, I knew this one had to be mine. It says Stabby. <laughs> she um, has been making into the uh, welding, I guess. Similar to welding, something like that. But she's raising money to get some dental work done that she had to get done, which wasn't as bad. Thank goodness. I'm glad for her. But yeah, I quite often feel like this, so this had to be mine. Come home and be with me. And I'm really excited about that. And then um, a few months ago, 
I think for their six month, six fifth box, something like that, um, the Crochet Society uh, sent out a little extra for their founding members, and I was one of them. So I got this four millimeter crochet hook with pink and gray polymer. And then look, there's a little granny stitch, stitch marker, and a yarn ball. So those are really cute. I've kept them, I haven't used them yet. I wanted to show you guys. That was a little extra from Crochet Society for being subscribed since the first box. So that was really nice. And then I kind of splurged on myself um, with all of the stuff I made for my boss. I decided why not hook myself up. <laughs> so one of the things I've been wanting for a while is a furls crochet hook. So I got one. Um, I got one of the Streamline swirls. And it is the Cafe Latte color. And I got a size H. But I saw this, uh, first time I saw this, I was just in love, being the coffee lover that I am. And it's all swirled, like coffee and cream. I just love it. And I want to focus. So I swear something gets taken away from my phone every time I update on my camera. That's not right. Okay, so my very first furls, um, I actually use this to make the beanie, the men's beanie, and I love it. Very nice. Glad I decided to go ahead and splurge on that. And then... I think Nick Picks sent me an email. I haven't really bought any of their yarn, but I figured I would subscribe to their email and see what happens. And they sent out an email very shortly about some new enamel pins. So that one is a gold hank of yarn. It's really cute, and they were on sale like for the first few days they released them. They were on sale. And a crystal ball with a yarn ball in it. So, I had to have those, and like I said, I was making extra money anyways from my commissions. So I splurged. And then the last thing that I bought myself is a, another naughty knitting set. Um, I didn't really have any Christmas themed project bags. So I picked this one up. I love the little elk up there. I think that's an elk. And just the kind of vintage look to it. And we've got a little peeping Tom in there. There's a reason she's called Naughty Knitting Socks. And if you go to Instagram, you'll see what's uh, hiding inside. <laughs> but I love this bag. It's great. I carried it all Christmas, all December long. So yeah. It's perfect. I love it. And then, let's see. I showed you all of that. And I guess it is my Christmas gifts. Um, my niece got me a couple of things of yarn. This is the Bernat Take Two in crushed grape. And look, it's purple. Two shades of purple. It's really pretty. I just see it's like one side dark, one side light. It's really neat how they did that actually. So I'll try to figure out what to do with this. She also got me a skein of the regular Bernat blanket and it's ocean shades and there's actually purple in there too. Purple, blue, and green, which is really pretty. I didn't even notice the purpley color. I thought it was all like blues. But that is, that is like a blue, dark, bluish purple. That's really pretty. And then 
I think I've got some more chubby bunnies coming down the way. Um, this is Loops and Threads Sweet Snuggles in lilac. Lilac. And it's really soft and squishy. And um, my niece was so cute when she gave me that. She's like, I, it was really hard not to spend all my money on Michaels. I'm like, yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> so, um, and then my next crafty Christmas gift, uh, my sweet, sweet, sweet husband. He has noticed all the stitch markers I've been making and the beading. And he got me a little jewelry making kit. It's got a bunch of beads. Um, the clasps, I think there's French hooks too, for earrings, um, lever backs, it's got the tools, and some of that, like, plastic string. I don't know if that's the stretchy stuff or not. But yeah, um, it's really cute. Uh, I love the little box. It's a great storage box too. So, he gets bonus points. He always does. He has great gifts. Or gets great gifts. He's like me. We really think about what people will love and use all the time. So I'm happy <laughs> with that and with him. So he did a great job. And then the last thing I got on um, my wedding anniversary was Wednesday, the 8th of January. And if anybody knows the significance of January 8th, comment below. We will be besties forever. But, um, yeah, he surprised me. He did a really good job on the anniversary gift. And um, I'm still quite blown away. I can't believe he actually made me scared that my bank account was hacked. <laughs> There was a charge um, in my bank account that I didn't make, and it was quite lofty, so I was calling everybody under the sun until they told me on card security that it wasn't my card. So then it kind of clicked. Uh, I might have just spoiled my anniversary gift. <laughs> but it's all good. It was quite a surprise. Um, and he went ahead and bought me a set of pearls hooks. These are the Frills Odyssey, and it is the, I don't know what color it's called, but it's sparkly, glittery purple. So these are just perfect for me. I love them. Um, he said, unfortunately, they were out of stock from the H to L. So I have B through G. And then I have M, N, and P. So I'm actually missing C because that one's um, little head broke off in shipping. So they're sending on another size C for that one. But yeah. And the base is all glittery too. Oh my gosh, it's just so pretty. I love it. These are really nice. And um, yeah. The husband blew me away again. He really pays attention. <laughs> so yeah, he did a great job. Um, we had a great anniversary on Wednesday. Today is Friday the 9th? 10th. Friday the 10th. So Wednesday we went to Red Lobster. And then um, this last spring he won a free night stay at the Courtyard Marriott. Out at the racetrack, they do 50-50 drawings, and the hotel sponsored the race that night, so he actually won a free room and breakfast for two the next morning, so that's what we did Wednesday, and that was really great, a lot of fun. So, that's really all I've got to show you. Um, sorry I've been away for so long. Um... I know you've heard it before, but I'm going to try to make more videos more frequently. Um, I just got caught up in all of the Christmas makes, and I just kind of needed a break. I didn't really do a whole lot of crocheting the first week of 2020. So, I will see you guys later, and like I said, as you saw here today, 
don't forget to hook yourself up. Bye. Oops, um, I forgot one thing. Uh, if anybody watches Crime Seed Knits, you will know Tansy got together with a um, lady who makes bags. Um, I think she's Deborah of Dallas on Etsy. And she had a fingerprint bag made. Um, it's really neat. The fingerprint fabric is actually denim. And then the purple down here is like a twill. I don't know if that's right. But yeah, um, I got the ones with the black buttons. But yeah, I just love it. It's really cute. Um, it's good size. Bigger than my head. Just about. Almost. <laughs> but um, I love it. And if you're anything like me into the true crime, get yourself one of these. They are on sale. I think 20% off. I'm not sure how long that runs though. So go check it out. It's Deborah of Dallas on Etsy. <laughs> Bye.